Not a lot of high school students smoke cigarettes anymore, but that doesn't mean they're off nicotine. Every month, about a quarter of high school students use an e-cigarette at least once. But recently, there has been scary news on this front. Six people have died and hundreds have gotten profoundly ill. An outbreak of lung illnesses related, apparently, to vaping. In response to this, the Trump administration has announced plans to ban virtually all flavored e-cigarettes nationwide. The Juul brand is the one you may have heard of. I think that's the biggest. But is the threat from e-cigarettes, is it from THC pens, or is it something else? Dr. Mark Siegel is a Fox medical contributor, of course, and the man we go to to untangle medical mysteries like this one. Doctor, thanks for coming on. What, what, is, what is the threat to the extent we know? I think the close to 400 cases we're talking about of people who got very sick is most likely re related to the cannabis oil or THC pens that you were talking about. Those are largely illegal. They're largely bootleg. And in states even where pot is legal, by the way, they're unregulated. You don't know what's in them. There are heavy metals in them. There's vitamin E extract in them, which actually, when you inhale it, can cause problems with the lungs. So this underlines one big problem we have, which is the unregulated marijuana or cannabis industry, in this case, manifested by vaping. I think we should take that out of the equation in terms of the other issue, which is what is facing our youth. Clearly, a lot of our youth, by the way, are, are vaping cannabis oil. So they're a getting lot. sick. And the average age of people hospitalized, very sick in those close to 400 cases is 19. So we're talking about teens in the case of THC as well as the other issue, which is flavors. So let me just back up a little bit before we get to how we ought to respond to this. The illness that they're getting, what is it exactly? Well, they get, this is a very scary illness. They get a sudden cough, chest pain, shortness of breath, fever. They're hospitalized right away, usually. They end up in intensive care units on respirators, needing steroids. Now, it's not contagious. It's not an infection. Antibiotics don't work. Steroids work. And again, the respirator works. So most of the time, you can save the patient. But this is, again, a wake-up call for a completely unregulated THC, cannabis oil, vaping products. And again, all, all vaping has not been properly studied yet. This is right. probably the worst of it, because you're trying to thicken the cannabis oil to get it into the lung. And the process right. of thickening it makes toxins, heavy metals, and additives. We, we should be clear that as far as I'm aware, there's no systematic federal effort underway to regulate or ban these, or to do anything about the prevalence of these THC pens. Great there, point, Tucker. And not even in states where marijuana is either medically available or recreationally available. And you right. and I have talked about the side effects you know, like psychosis, other issues with marijuana. But yeah. I think what HHS and the Trump administration is getting involved in right now is another issue, which is that the National Youth Tobacco Survey came out and said yeah. that of those one quarter of high school students who are vaping, guess what? 70% of them are vaping for the flavors they're getting. And this is regular e-cigarettes right. like Juul, like cartridges. The, these That's are the right. regular ones. And they don't even know there are nicotine in the products. So they're vaping for the flavor and four times as many turn to cigarettes down the line. So it's a gateway exactly. drug for tobacco. It's certainly addictive uh, in its own right. I like it to, sure. get, to get confirmed smokers off cigarettes. That's been yeah, proven no. to work. But not teens, but it, not teens, not five million teens. Leave them alone. Dr. Siegel, thanks for that. I appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, Tucker.